Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, back for another week of Brilliant Idiotness. Schultz, how was your weekend? Yo, uh, very good, very good. How was yours, man? How was the show? I'm sorry I couldn't be there with you, man, man. The Roots Picnic, Roots Picnic was dope, man. It looked like you got a bunch of people out. (laughs) Um, I guess. I mean, listen, you know, Philly's a cheat code for me, though. Well, oh, because you started radio. Not there. started, but you know, when I got with Wendy and um and listen, I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but when I first started radio with Wendy, Philly was a huge market for Wendy. Yeah. And then I did morning radio in Philly for like seven, eight months before they fired me and got me the fuck up out of there. Yeah. You know, but I mean, I've always connected with Philly. Even when I was doing radio in Philly, I think I had like the number two show in the mornings, 18 to 34. Oh wow. Yeah. So I mean, my morning radio show career definitely started. In Philadelphia. Like, my radio career started in South Carolina. Yeah. But my morning radio sh- show career started in, in Philly. So, you know. Philly's dope. I never met a person from Philly that said they were offended. That is a goddamn good It's point. hard no, to no, offend no, 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 that's Philadelphia. Not true. That's, that's not true. Oh, but she's from Lower Marion. She, you're right. She, yeah, she's she's not really Darby. from Philly. Lower yeah. Darby. She's from Lower yeah, Darby. Right, it's a right, difference. Right, right, but right. the average right. Philadelphian right. is going to boo Santa Claus and is going to eat right. you know, shit off the ground. Right. Like You can't say a word that's going to bother them. There's yeah. nothing that can actually bother them. You They're a fantastic go in, crowd. And you got to go into Philly humble. And that's why I say if Philly fuck with you, you you're 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 a real you're a fuck withable person. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm yes, saying? Sir. Like if Philly fuck if Philly ain't about the bullshit. So it was interesting, you know, cuz uh I didn't What it feel like being on stage again? This has probably been Oh, it's been five long, years, seven it, years. I don't know. It's long, been a while. It's been a long time since I did really? the, the live podcast, and I, I didn't know what I was going to do. Yeah. That's what everybody kept asking me. Like, you yeah. know, they kept. It was like, yeah. hey, what you going to do? I said, I'm going to go up there and, and talk. And they was like, Who's going to be out there with you? They like, Is Andrew coming? I'm like, Nah, because you know, they, they was just it was just Charlemagne the God, yeah. and they, they're not used to that when they see. Podcast, like yes. it says, when they say live podcast, they're expecting, okay, is yeah. it going to be brilliant? What is it going to be? Yeah. It just says Charlemagne the God. So what yeah. did that mean? So you know, Schultz didn't, Schultz couldn't make it. So I just, I hit up Jess, like, yo, Jess, you want to pull up? And you guys had good rapport. It was fun. That's my, that's my, that's my girl. That's yeah. my, that's my partner. Yeah. And then Simba, Simba was out there. Simba's my guy, bro. So I, I had think Simba it come was, out and kick I it. think it was Simba. You think it was Simba? I'm not exactly sure. I think it was Simba. He's He's in a, I believe, a podcast that they're doing out of a barber shop, and he's talking about. Oh yeah, how- yeah, yeah. Matt, uh, uh, that's Matt Hoffa. That's uh, my expert opinion. Okay, my expert yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah. And he's talking about how Jay Z's whole thing that he's been selling for years is "I'm better than you." Yep. And he goes on this rant. I remember that. That is absolutely sensational. Like I we agree. should play the rant. It's that good because he gets pushback and it and it becomes like a real argument amongst friends. Like you know how like yeah. when you, when you, the energy's high, you argue with friends mm. or whatever like that. But it's punchline, punchline, punchline. It is fantastic. I oh, saw it on play. Instagram. In the last twenty years, we've been done with whole deal. In the last twenty, name it. You can't name it. You do it in the last hundred. Name it. I mean, yeah, ain't no, name it. No. Kanye still got a million. It doesn't Kanye, matter. Nah. Kanye sells product. Nah. 50? There's nobody. 50 There's sells nobody. televisions. Okay. We talking about a nigga Influence. that solely sells I'm better than you. That's not all he sells. Nigga, I'm better than you. That's my wife right better than you. The clothes are fucking is better than you. The businesses I'm a part of is better than you. I brought the next to Brooklyn. I'm better than you. I fucking put these motherfucking shoes on. I'm better than you. I know feel night. I'm better than you. I know every motherfucking thing you do. So I'm better than you. What are we talking about? He's better than everybody. He's better. <laughs> Niggas can't do that shit. <laughs> this nigga went to the bar place and did B sides. Nigga, I'm better than you. I didn't perform my best hits. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I brought Cameron out, nigga. I, I don't even like this thing. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I'm better than you, niggas. Stop talking to me. Elliot Wilson and all these niggas. 
niggas on a platform because of me. I'm better than you niggas. I got title. I'm better than you niggas. Beyonce's dropping next year. I'm better than you niggas. I linked up with the NFL, Rihanna, before this year. I'm better than you niggas. What are we talking about? What are we talking about, bro? This yeah, nigga's the bro. GOAT. Yeah, that's a fact. He's the that's GOAT. Yeah. Bro, he, 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 what a fuck. Simple, my guy loves him. He's one of my favorite people to talk to. Bro, what a rant. On, on, uh. air, on air and off air. He brought camera. He don't even like him like that. I, 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 I do disagree with that take, though. Because Jay Z has not just—he's he didn't. First of all, he didn't sell. I'm better than you. He is better than everybody, right? That's number one. But what Jay Z sold is lifestyle and business acumen. That's what he sold since day one: lifestyle and business acumen, the hustle. Mm. You know what I'm saying? From day one, is from can't knock the hustle. You know what I'm saying? Like he—that's what he sold you from day one, and he. Was he was dope back then, but you had to be a great to recognize it. That's why Biggie was his. That's why Biggie. Hey, you you would be. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's why yeah. Big. That's why he was Biggie's man, and that's why you know all of the the greats like Pac and them mentioned him back then when he wasn't even the guy yet. Mm. You could just see him coming. So I think that he was. Better than everybody lyrically, and he sold lifestyle and he sold business acumen. But I don't think he was selling better. I just think over time you started to see, oh, he is better. Fair enough. I just I do think in hip hop there is a uh, competition, like in many different forms of art, and part of the competition is who is the best. Who Absolutely. I got more money than you. I got more bitches than you. Absolutely. I got more cars than you, etc. And Jay Z has found a way to have more or to be better. In intricate ways. But it's not only I have more money than you, it's like I got more art than you. Like you thought you had money, and he's like, but do you have art? How many people have both? Think about that. Yeah. In yeah. life, think yeah. who's actually the best yeah. and has the, okay. the success and money to match it up. No, in, no, in, in any no, field. No. I, I just I just love the angle. Like, okay, this is something I love that Lil Duval does. Lil Duval flexes in unique ways. Right? Like, mm -hmm. so Lil Duval will be like, oh, I see what, you guys are all on yachts. I got this funky little sea do boat thing that nobody has yet. I remember once I saw that uh, this video of Lil Duval walking to a hotel and his luggage was following him, but he wasn't dragging the luggage. Yeah. So he like flexes in these super unique ways, which is like the super flex. He, Lil Duval's shit is, I'm more interesting than you. Word up. No, I'm more right. interesting. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everything I Absolutely. do is going to be more interesting. My Absolutely. point of view is going to be more interesting. Absolutely. My vacation is going to be more interesting. My planes are going to be more Absolutely. interesting. Absolutely. And... He's, he's unapologetically, uniquely Duval. It, it and that's what I told somebody at the Roots Picnic. They asked me, what is the key to... Everybody's basic compared to Duval. That's right. Like, if you're that's going right. on a vacation to a spot, he went there five years ago. But that's what he said. You know what basic really means? All y'all doing the same thing. The same thing. All y'all doing the same shit. And I think that you could make the argument for Jay-Z that he has done that in... I flex harder than you. He's one of those dudes. Like, I love the fact that he's flexing art when everybody else is flexing watches. He's like, I was on watches, mm -hmm. but now that y'all are on watches, I'm on Picasso. He makes, he makes everybody look basic and the fact that he's just lyrically better than yeah, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and being that he's, he's lyrically better than everybody, he actually has the success he raps yeah. about. Yeah. That's the other thing, too. Yeah. I didn't just buy a team. I moved it to my neighborhood. My neighborhood. That's, God that's damn. crazy. That's cr God damn. That God damn. is crazy God damn. God right damn. God there. God damn. I didn't just buy the team. I moved it to my I moved neighborhood. it to Brooklyn. God damn. I don't want to have to drive to the game. <laughs> that's what y'all do. Y'all drive to the uh, game. Jay-Z, is he's absolutely positively the blueprint, yeah. man. But that's what you got to do, though. It's yeah. just like, Put yo. Put out the album. Like, but and he don't take nothing for granted. That's the other thing. What does that mean? Meaning he's never wasted a bar, right? So he's always with the success, still trying to be the best in his craft, mm -hmm. even with the success. Oh, he, you're saying he, he didn't he, take granted, like he doesn't get lazy, never, like he's going never, after to this day. Yes, never, amen, amen. Never, never, and he's always, whenever he drops an album, he's always trying to give the people something new. And the most important thing, which I keep trying to tell these motherfuckers, is he's not afraid to grow. Hmm. He's not stuck. Hmm. On the same shit yeah. he was on 15, 20 years ago. Because if he was, he wouldn't be the Jay-Z we know now. Yeah. The Jay-Z we know now came later in life. Y'all do realize that, right? The Jay-Z with the art, 
You know what I'm saying? Once you the say now, who bought the team. The second you say now, I think you're speaking Chinese. <laughs> so, yo, I, did you see the last episode of Dave? Talk to me now. I was like, God damn it! They be jocking. What? Then talk oh to me now. Oh my God! What they say? Spoiler alert! You got to watch. The, you have to watch. What the they last say? Episode. You don't got to. Even if you don't watch no other episode, what, what, watch what? the season finale of Dave with tell Brad me, Pitt me. and Drake. Okay. Man, that's one of the. First of all, let me, let me give Dave his flowers before we go back and talk about the roots picnic and all that shit. Dave is absolutely, positively one of the funniest shows that has ever graced television screens. I gotta watch in Dave, any way, man. shape, I or form. Check out Dave, Dave is one of those shows you watch, and it's so good that you get jealous. Really? You're like, I need to do something mm. that great, bro. I knew Dave. I knew Dave. The show was good when Jack Harlow promoted his episode the exact same amount he promoted his own movie. Hilarious. <laughs> like, like, by the way, like, yeah. hilarious episode with Jack good. Harlow because yeah. it's, it's making fun of the Met Gala. Yeah, that's what the whole episode is about. It's not yeah. about Jack; it's about the Met Gala. That yeah. shit is funny, but that shit, man. <laughs> when they put a gun to Brad Pitt, and the girl goes, "Say something to get something canceled. Say something to get canceled. Yeah. Say something to get canceled." And, and he goes, "I don't do that." She goes, "Say something to Asian. <laughs> Say something sure. to Chinese." <laughs> Did he do it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh my God. I was sitting there like, he's going to say what you're going to do next. <laughs> yes. I was like, they've been watching our show. Tell, me, tell me he said what y'all going to do now. No, he didn't say what oh, y'all going to do now. If he said that shit, but it was fun. good. I mean, he hit it. When I say he hit the Asian accent, he, I mean, deep Chinese. Did bro. he do old school Chinese? Oh. Oh, I that's... was like, nobody's watching Dave. Because yeah. there's no way this shit isn't hilarious to everybody. Yo. <laughs> that's funny. That's a funny compliment. <laughs> I was watching it like, nobody else watching this No, no, no. This no. <laughs> they got, no. They got high viewership. But yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I don't be on Twitter no more, so I can't say what it does. But it, it feels like it doesn't connect culturally. The, I, I, and it's the funniest show on television. This is what I think is happening with Dave. I think Dave is having like this massive moment amongst uh, kind of artsy and coastal folks. I don't know if it's permeated America. So it's similar to like that show Girls on HBO. Remember with the I fact girls? Yeah, with Lena Dunham. There's like, you have, it was like everybody in LA and New York was going, oh my God, this show is transformative, it's genius, whatever. And then everybody in between was like, and I don't care about a bunch of like uh, white girls who can't figure it out in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I think everybody I've spoken to about Dave is like, this show is brilliant. It is fantastic. And, and you have to watch it. It's fantastic. But the people who are telling me to watch it are industry, like kind of insiders and artists and other creatives. That's crazy because nothing about it is that. Like, First of all, you know it's, I love it's very industry though. I mean, isn't it? I mean, it's industry because he's a rapper. But think about this. But it's new, satirical about the industry. But, but, it's but no, it's not what a rapper is going it's through. It's kind of right? not. Like think about this season. This season he's on tour. Yeah. What this season to me is is an exploration of Middle America, an exploration of the South, those places that don't get mentioned. That's why he's in Mississippi and he's in Georgia. He's in all of these places experiencing a whole new culture that he knows nothing about. This whole season is just literally him traveling the country, going to middle America, going to the South, and it's more so about those people. Matter of fact, I take that back. Even in the last episode, you seen the last episode? No, I haven't seen it. The last episode, the, the, the catalyst to the whole episode who makes the shit super funny is a person he met in the South who came out to L.A. to chase her dreams because she met Dickie and Dickie gave her one of those bullshit cliche shit like yeah. you got to go chase your dreams and you got to go and for it. There. Yes. That's funny. That's, that, man, that shit is that I'm shit telling is you, brilliant, everybody yo. who I've spoken to who watches the show speaks about it in the way you've spoken about it. And it's dark gay humor. Yeah. You know I love that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know I love good dick jokes. Yeah, yeah. You know <laughs> yo, but I'm not, I'm not going to lie. The gay jokes are getting kind of basic, bro. Too many people dick riding, bro. <laughs> Too many people dick riding, bro. Disgusting. I'm just saying, like, too many people dick riding. It's like, you know, we've been on this for a while. You know what I mean? It's like, now that it's cool and comfortable to make gay jokes, everybody want to do it. Nah. We was doing this when you got beat up. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We was doing this when you got we, beat up, We were doing dick talk when um, it wasn't popular to do dick talk, yo. Yo, people are calling us gay. Yeah. Now yeah. they call you cool. They yeah. call you funny. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's we right. weren't funny. That's right. That's we're a right. bunch of homosexuals. <laughs> that's what we were for years. We bled. We bled, 
so y'all can have gay fun. Out the asses. Out the asses. So y'all can have fun with your little what would you do for a million dollars? We was doing it for a hundred thousand. That's right. And you know the other thing Dave does? You know the other thing Dave, what'd you say? We were, we, we <laughs> was hypothetically sucking dick for 100,000. Nah, you can get more than 100,000. Me, maybe not you. You not getting more than 100,000. You get more than 100,000? Nobody wants you to suck their dick. <laughs> Oh, you talking about actually sucking dick? Yeah, oh, people, no, no, people no, no, would no, pay no, me, no, no. not you. No, no, I never, I never got paid to suck a dick. I did it for fun. Now, nah, see all that? Pride month. Take that. Take that. <laughs> Y'all not on our level. You know what I'm saying? Talk paid. about it. Be about y'all, it. Y'all ain't getting paid to Change suck dick. Change the background, Al. Y'all ain't getting paid to suck, suck dick. Come on, that man. That shit's straight as hell. gay, yo. That shit's straight. Word up, word up. You straight, yo. You yo. get paid to suck dick, you, you straight. straight. You straight. You straight. Word up. Word up. Come on, word bro. Up. Listen, Fuck out of here. Look, no. at, look out the window. Your window don't look like that. <laughs> your window don't look like that. What's your window look like? Listen. You know what I mean? The other thing about Dave that's so dope. Is the things he touches on culturally, mental health, yeah. social media. Mm. Like he does it in the most I think unique that's the best ways. part of the show. That's what I'm saying. The, I, I, Dave got the best comedy the, I've seen in like five years, yo. The best part of the show is that he finds ways to actually insert a message without it being so like preachy. overhanded, preachy. Yeah. preachy. That's the yeah. best part Gator. of the show. Gator's I, a great example of that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like Gator deals with depression in the show and bipolar, even when they found out why he was a womanizer. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. that shit was. Fan fucking tastic, you know what I mean? The social media when his bus blows up and everybody thinks he's dead for a day. I don't, I don't give too much. The show is. I, Go check out Dave. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing. Go check out Dave. Andrew Santino's in that. Tacos in that. Man, there's a lot it's of amazing. talented people in that, and obviously Dave creating it. But yeah. I don't, like I, I'll, I'll go back to the roots. Pick. I don't take anything for granted. You know what I'm saying? Good. Because people don't have to fuck with you. You know Bro, what I mean? Yo. You just sold, you just sold, how many seats? 13,000 tickets. You just sold out yeah. Scotia Bank in Toronto. Yeah. Don't take that for granted. Never. Bro. Never. People never. do not have to fuck with you. And you don't realize that people fuck with you until they got to pay for something and take time Bro, mm. out of their day the luck- to show up where you are. The luckiest shit that I have, I think, in my career is a stand up is I get a real metric for people of uh, fucking with me or not when I do the live right. shows. Because there's one thing that's views. You could create views from chaos. We could come here right now and like- Create noise. Talk shit about somebody and make drama and people will watch it, but they might not fuck with you enough to get a babysitter. That's right. Or I'll, I'll buy, I'll buy your you book. To buy your book. Ooh, I like what you said. No, that's hard. Go get a babysitter. Get a babysitter. Ooh. You got to hire a babysitter. I don't take that shit for granted at all. Neither do I. Like, and I want to say thank you so much to Toronto. I really appreciate that. We put it out for pre-sale literally today, and in a few hours, it was completely sold out. And that's, that's fire. That's crazy. That's yeah. They told us that they never see anything like that. That was the fastest sellout that they've had. Congratulations. So that man. is a, for for the comedy festival. I'm sure fucking the weekend and Drake and all these guys sell out in two seconds. But still, like that was incredible. And uh, I will say this: if there's young comics or even young like performers watching, it's like that's not a clip or two clips going viral or going on the Breakfast Club or going on Rogan. That's going to Toronto for 10 years Work. and Word delivering up. a g- fucking great show for 10 Word. years, starting out at a venue. There's 100 people, and every single time, new material, going back and investing in those people. And they have a great tight-knit culture in Toronto. They have an identity in Toronto, mm-hmm. and they can tell. Places can tell if you care about the, the show that you're giving them. And they speak to each other, and everybody talks about it. And there's a difference when you go back into those markets. They go, no, no, that show is worth it. We got to come back out. And um, that was a fucking amazing feeling, man. That's, awesome. that, that, that's what I was trying to say about YouTube last week. Like, you know, YouTube is like, it's a digital. It, you you should use social media and the internet as a b- digital billboard to promote the work you're doing in the world, in the real world. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, and even when people talk about clips, right? Yeah, you put out clips, but what were those clips that you doing? Stand up. On stage. 100%. In front of people. 100%. Touching the people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not sitting in your house. Nope. Talking to a bunch of yeah. people on the chat. Yeah. Like you yeah. out there in the world. Like yeah. that's what you have to do. Like everything connects. All those dots connect. Because trust me, when you go out there and you want people to actually show up, 
Like, cause the, in order to get to those next next levels, you have to leave your house. Now you can be cool. Yep. With the money, right? Yep. And all of that, and not really knowing how, you know, not really knowing what your what your true heat is. Yep. Some people cool with that. Yep. But I promise you, man, if you get a taste of that, oh, it's different. You, you gonna want to go see. You want to. You gonna want to go outside to see what's out there. Oh, hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? And you only get that through putting in the right. real. Work. Yeah, giving people know? value, man. Absolutely. Putting on, a, putting on a fucking great show, and I cannot wait to... I mean, this is my first arena, and there's only two arenas that I've cared to do, right? It's Scotiabank and Madison Square Garden. I've said that for a while. Maybe the Forum in L.A., because L.A. has held me down as well from the beginning. But I remember from the beginning, I was going up to do shows in, in Toronto, and it was Brilliant Idiots fans holding me down in Toronto, bro. Mm. Like, the mm. beginning, beginning... And I remember I was like, yeah, I'm going to do that shit. I'm going to do that fucking scope. You prophesied it. You said it on stage. The last time I was on stage, yeah. I was like, next time we were doing where the Raptors play, man. Yeah, it was really fucking cool. But I think that's the takeaway for me. It's just like invest in those cities. Like a lot of times people will be like, oh, I, I just want to play in these big cities. I just want to do that, whatever. Toronto's a massive city, but sometimes even Americans will be like, oh, it's not in America or it's not LA or something like that. It's like, you're, you're, you're missing the point here. You have... Who gives a fuck where it's at? I'm saying if people crazy? fuck with you, invest in them. Give them the great Word. fucking show. Like, put money back into the show. Burner you know, Boy like, just did 60,000 people in, in, London. in London, right? I know. Unbelievable. You think he gave a fuck that he not from there? No, <laughs> like, he's probably like, honored what? to go see that. Like 60,000 people anywhere is just, gathered yeah. to see you And I bet you he, amazing. I bet you, I assume that he reinvests in the show. The bigger the show gets, don't do the bare bones shit. Deliver a show. Yes. You're going to make money and you have to spend money to make that show different. Yes. Like, that's what I'm so f fucking excited about is how do you fill this arena show and make that arena different than any other comedian has ever done? Right. How can you make that show different? How can right. you change it? How can you set a new expectation? Yeah, it's, it's exciting, man. And it's the journey. I think that's the other thing that people buy into. They buy into your journey. Like, when I'm on stage at the Roots Picnic, there's people there quoting shit from 10 15 years ago, years ago. like literally, <laughs> years shit, ago. That I, shit that I forgot I said on yeah. Wendy, shit that I said on yeah. the radio in Philly, there's people yeah. out there, the, the white dude that was drunk, like, y'all bought three of your books and you signed it, yeah, yeah. I thought he said the freshest John in Philly, Yeah, but he said, he said I signed it, the freshest jar of mayonnaise, the freshest jar of mayonnaise, <laughs> I, didn't, wow. I, didn't know that. I, I swear I thought he was saying the freshest John in Philly, this guy shows up, lines up, buys your book, and you insult him, you are, you are, that's what he wants, that's, <laughs> that's what he wanted. I gave him one. That's what he wanted. Sorry. But these people, like, there's people, so there, there are people up there holding up signs. Can I tell you a great name I yes. thought of for a girl who gives great head or a guy who gives great head? Who? I have a great name for it. Oh, what is it? You got to call him Jaw Morant. Jaw Morant. <laughs> that's good. That'd be a good, that's a good name for a guy. For you a guy or a girl? A no? guy. You don't guy. want, I mean, not you, obviously, but. You, a, another girll in your situation. Ja Morant. And they got some great names when you think about it, though. Maurice Cheeks, somebody with a fat ass. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Homie with a fat ass. Yeah. The Mo Cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Mo Cheeks, for short? I want Mo Cheeks. <laughs> what? what? You're a straight what? dude, you're gonna turn somebody out. You call him little Rudy K. <laughs> <laughs> Get a guy to blow in your ass, call him Air Jordan. Come on, man. This is crazy. Come on, now. Keep it going. Keep Ooh, it going. What about a guy, Taylor, that gives you great head and it feels like your vibrator? Jalen Rose. <laughs> oh, shit. That's fine. Yo. That's fine. Yo. That, that was is, crazy. No, this is high level comedy right here. Shit is. <laughs> Dude. Oh man, I can't even keep up right I now. Know, How like, many did you just rattle off? <laughs> that was it, it's crazy. On the spot, or you had these no. radics? So I didn't crazy. know he was going here, man. Listen, thank you. Though. What just happened right now? Thank you. I didn't even know I was lobbing. I thought I was dunking myself. <laughs> I thought I was on fast break. That was crazy. What else we got? Keep going. Dunking myself is crazy. Um. <laughs> 
<laughs> or show this lesson. Yo, dunking yourself is no, crazy. No, dunking yourself like masturbation. It's oh, like I thought it was crazy. giving yourself head. That could be it, though. Yeah. That Tim Duncan. Kaboom! <laughs> <laughs> from the free throw line. <laughs> that is from the free throw line. Everybody loves being gay, yo. Yo, what would you do with it? What, what would, maybe that's, you know, gay means fun, right? No, it, I'm telling you. Gay means fun. Gay means that's, fun. That's why they start oh, happy, happy, happy. Or happy or whatever. Yeah, gay means happy. No, um, I'm serious. What would you do with Giannis? Giannis? Yeah. The Greek freak. No, no, but like, what would you do with it? How do you, how do you, how do you do what you were just doing? What do you mean? <laughs> like the game you were just playing? Can you do it with Giannis? Nah, Giannis is kind of tough, man. What about Giannis enter the pool pole? Giannis <laughs> enter the pool pole. <laughs> Giannis enter the pool pole. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who uh, sold out uh, Toronto, though, and thank you Yo, to everybody thank who came to the Roots Picnic. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you. Bro. I saw what y'all did to Ak earlier that day. I was like, God damn it. And oh. I saw, I'm going to tell you something else. I seen some, there was some, there was some ops. No. There was some ops. I saw some, you, you think I didn't see you? I saw some ops lingering around. What, what you mean? I was like, oh, you thought you were going to catch me slipping. Thought oh! you, you thought you, cause see, somebody told me that, that when act the way the stage is set up, like uh, don't call me white girl, salute the Mona, don't call me white girl. She was on before me, and then it's like a fifteen minute period after they get off. So that's when people either move or some people stick around or whatever, whatever. So somebody told me that that video that they put out of act wasn't wasn't all the way accurate because it was during like a gap. It was during a, a small gap. But I mean, Act confirmed it was. You know what I mean? But I think he said that he, somebody, because somebody told me Act had a crowd. Yeah, my, my, I, my, I, guy, my guys at the Trap Nerds, they, they was like, it was like, nah, they was like, nah, Act had a cool little crowd. I assume that that was hating. I, I, I assume somebody He admitted wanted, it, though. Interesting. Yeah, okay. he, he, he admitted it, but I thought somebody, remember, and I even ended the show early. I was like, Usher, you ain't gonna leave me. No, <laughs> Usher was coming on at 9 15. That was my running thing, joke throughout the whole thing. Like, I know we gotta go, get out here to go see Usher. So at the end, when we, they saw we was wrapping up and I saw people moving, I was like, all right, in the show. <laughs> so yeah. about to get me out this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? All these motherfuckers out there, and then you videotape everybody uh -huh. not uh -huh. here no more? Hell no. I see what y'all the fuck y'all doing. The video would have been everybody walking away while he's still on stage. Goddamn. That's loop. probably what they did to act, though. I assume that they're trying, there are people invested nah, nah, in nah, making nah, it look bad. No, nah, act, 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 act said he took it L. He said oh, it. Yeah, he right. said because uh, Lil, Lil Uzi was on. You know what I'm saying? But that's just, I mean, in but, Philly, a little Uzi, of course. But I want to, uh, I know Axe going to see this. One thing I did like about what Axe said in that video, uh, his scream about talking about uh, people not coming, was he said, now y'all done put a fire under me. Oh, to, to. And now I want to show y'all. That I can do That this. I can draw a cry. And I remember um, us having a conversation after your show at Radio City. Mm. And I remember Axe saying to me, like, man, I don't. I don't think nobody will ever, I don't think I could ever do something like this, have all of these people come see me. And I'm like, no, nah, I think you could. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I, and I, I want to challenge Jack to do that. Yeah. It's he, just, said, he said he wants to do it before the year is over. I think he can do it and just curate the show. Like, That's make, it. Give them a thing That's to it. go see. And you know what your people like. Yes. So have it at a venue that your people would feel comfortable at. Them chat niggas that you have, have it at a venue yeah. where those people would feel comfortable at. You know what I'm saying? And, and yeah, show people you could draw a crowd because the Roots picking ain't fair. Like even, even what they said on the on the tweet when they was like, yo, uh, academic show and f only sold eight tickets. That wasn't his show. It was the Roots picnic, y'all. Yeah, like, don't you on. buy you exactly. buy it, you buy a ticket to all the events, everything. So everybody's <laughs> sharing the same group of people. Yes. So it is. It's a one. It's a huge compliment that they're coming to the Brilliant Idiot Show because there are yeah. probably other shows that are happening at the same yeah. time. Yeah. That's fire. And and, and, and that, that 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 was cap. You know I remember Act mentioning he wanted to get into stand up. Yo, nah, I was. Nah, nah, don't do that. Act. No, nah, I want everybody to try it. First nah, of all, I'm no, funny no. as shit, and I've been telling them. I was like, "Yo, just try it." Everybody funny until they gotta be funny. Yo, it takes time to get good at stand up. There's no question. But for you, I've always said this about you. You think like a stand up. Your brain works like a stand up. You think in terms of bits. That's not saying the first time you do it's gonna work. But you will find you are funny enough naturally and a good enough writer naturally that you're gonna figure out how to solve that problem. A lot of people going to stand up, they ain't even funny to start. It's the hardest thing to do 
on stage in entertainment. You, by yourself, going on that stage, one against 300, one against 3,000, yeah. one against 13,000. Yep. That shit is no joke. Don't do it unless you've been putting in the time. And, and, and Ak is already at, at a level to where he don't have the time to go out there and fuck so, up. So that's the other thing. It's like, <laughs> and, make toast and, 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 well, and I also think this about you. Like, it's like, you're so famous that you can't go through the anonymity to get good at stand-up. Exactly. And Ak is going to have that difficulty as well. It's like, anybody that's famous that then gets into stand-up can't really afford to just spend two years bombing until they figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah, yeah. you're going to be able to sell out venues. You're going to have people coming out to see you. So the expectations are going to be so high. They're not looking at you as a person who just started stand-up. They're looking at you as this hilarious person that they already laugh at and they already that's enjoy right. your content. That's right. So it's a different level of expectation. Um, do you feel the same thing with T.I.? When he tried to stand up? Bro, I admire the fact that T.I. was like, I'm going to bomb through this. Like, I'm going to stay here, I'm going to work on it, and I'm going to keep doing it. A lot of people, do you know how easy it is for T.I. to get a crowd to switch? That's what I was saying. Like, He's still out play there. Play the song. I was like, he's still out there, right? He's still out there. No, he is. And yeah, T.I. Want... still doing the work. But do you guys think that he's go... people are going out there to see if he's funny or like they just like T.I. as fans? Though? To me, like to me it advantage. don't matter because within five minutes of that show starting, you're going to know if you like that. There is justice in comedy, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, whether they come out there to see him just because they see him, whether they come out to see him because they think that he's funny, whether they come out to see him because they love his music, doesn't matter. Within five minutes, you're either going to like that show or not like that show. Yeah. And he went through some tough fucking situations that a lot of people would go, yo, I'm out. Like, I'm, I don't want to go through the depression of bombing again when... I know I could play one of these hits and the whole fucking crowd is going to yeah. go crazy. Yeah. I, I thought T.I. was out there uh, getting his stand-up chops up because I, I I don't know why in my mind I thought he was auditioning. He was going to audition for like the Red Fox role. Like when they do a biopic on Red Fox because for some reason I can see uh, I can see T.I. playing Red Fox. It's interesting. And I feel like he's out there doing his stand-up chops because that is like, like that role for T.I. would be the role that like wins him like an Oscar or some shit. I mean, you know low, what I'm saying? low key, if you're going to play Red, you need to be able to do stand-up. You got to, come on. You got to be able to do stand-up. Come on, yeah. come on. But no, uh, don't do stand-up. Everybody sit their ass down. That was actually my, that was. <laughs> Everybody that, try it one time. Yeah, yeah. I no, would love you it. Gotta, you got to try it. If you try it one time, so. you'll, leave, you'll have so much more respect for it. Yep. I think a lot of people who've never been on stage, they've made people laugh before, so they think it's the same thing. I, 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 I got gas like that. Everybody, oh, you should do stand-up, you should do stand-up. I said, you know what? I'm going to host some comedy shows. So I'm going yeah. to do these comedy shows. And we did it at the Scratch Factory. And it sold out the weekend we did it. Charlemagne the God's comedy show, whatever. I, I don't remember. Who, I, think, I think I had Damien Lemon on there. Shout out to Damien, yeah. You didn't do it. That, no. I, Damien, I, I think Damien. I forgot who I had on there, but I had a nice little lineup of people. And... I remember going out there with that mic, and I had like three or four jokes that I was going to rip. And I looked at that crowd, and I said, you know what? I'm going to grab this stool and sit down so y'all can never, ever say Charlamagne was up here trying to do stand-up. Because I knew. Did that joke bomb as bad then? <laughs> no. That, that, that joke. <laughs> they laughed. <laughs> they laughed because they knew I was dead serious. Oh, wasn't I wasn't joking. <laughs> I didn't let none of them jokes fly. <laughs> I sat my ass down and I said, hey, man, thank y'all for coming out tonight. I really appreciate it. We were having a good time tonight, man. You know, and I bought the comedians on because nah, that shit you gotta is different. Try to get y'all. Bro, no, we went, you got to try no, it. Do no. you remember we went to Foxwoods for that show? I think I was doing a spot on it and then you were hosting it. Foxwoods. It was a Fox. It was up in Connecticut. I remember Connecticut. I don't remember. I know Foxwoods Casino. And yeah. I've never seen anybody do less time hosting in my life, <laughs> bro. They. I think he was scheduled to do 15 minutes up top as the host, right? And I remember we back 15 in the room. minutes. Yo, son, we're back in the room and Sean Man's getting. Sean already That's starts crazy. talking That's himself <laughs> out of it. He goes, he goes. So, so like, yeah, we'll do like uh, you guys do like uh, 10, 15 minutes up top. And then Charlotte goes, he goes to me, he goes, he goes, he goes, yeah, we gonna warm him up real quick, I'll bring him right up. That's right. <laughs> what the fuck you mean? For, you know how long 15 that minutes is? is long. <laughs> that is long. I, I dare, let's do that. I dare you to go on stage for 15 minutes and just sit up there. Number one, just try to figure out something to talk about by yeah, yourself yeah. Yeah, yeah. and try to make people laugh. Okay. But that's why I feel some of these uh, 
streamers would be good at that because they'll they, they sit in a room and talk to themselves for mad it's long. It's different when it's a crowd of people <laughs> looking at you with an expectation. But it must be entertaining enough because they keep coming back. And it's a, no, I'm talking to a camera. I'm drunk. I'm having a good time in this uh, air. I could do this all day. But it's, when it's a hundred, if it's just a hundred people staring at you like, what's up, nigga? <laughs> what's, what's happening you know what I'm saying that shit is no joke you kiss my ass stand up is the hardest thing to do on stage in the world I don't give a fuck what y'all say listen the more people say that the better for me so I ain't gonna ever disagree with that <laughs> you know, that's why you don't see everybody jumping into that shit there's a lot of fields everybody jumps into it's never stand up you can't the yeah. same way you can't play boxing, you yeah. can't play comedy. Yeah. You can't yeah. play yeah. boxing. Yeah. It's Going there and yeah. playing boxing, you get your ass knocked the fuck out. Yeah. You can't play comedy, you're going to get bombed. You're going to bomb on stage. Yeah. Okay? Salute to Pete Davidson, though, man. <laughs> what happened with Pete? He bombed us, eh? No. No. <laughs> Pete don't, I'm going to tell you, Pete don't bomb, especially when he is just being Pete. <laughs> Wait, what Did happened? you hear this shit, man? No, tell me. Play this Peter call, Taylor. Is this is hilarious. Nothing <laughs> more disrespectful than to tell a bunch of people who hate animal products to suck your meat. Bro. That's facts, bro. God damn. That's facts, bro. man. God damn. <laughs> yeah. And I still don't even really understand what that call was about. <laughs> Did Peter put out a story? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Peter says the actor left the heated message Monday for the org senior VP of cruelty investigations. He got her name because it's a statement of TSZ expressing Peter's collective disappointment in Pete buying a puppy at an NYC pet store instead of adopting from a shelter. Man, Peter, mind y'all fucking business. Yeah, nobody want to adopt a dog, yo. And does, but does it matter if you buy from a pet store or adopt it? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's big. Like, what? They make a really big deal, especially in LA. It's illegal. But the puppy in the store yeah. wants a home, too. Yeah, but you the idea is if you don't buy them at the store, then they'll stop breeding them. If you don't buy them at the store, they'll stop breeding them. Yeah, so like think no, of it like if a there's pair no of market, then yeah. people will stop breeding, and then if people stop buying a pair of sneakers, then the company will stop making. We'll it. get better dogs at the shelter. That's they have facts. to fly exotic dogs. They don't got fly That's dogs at the saying. shelter. You got your shelter dogs. There's no don't designer want dogs. There's no designer dogs. The shelter's like the thrift store. Exactly. You know we don't saying? want no vintage dogs. That's what I mean. Yeah, Yo, no, no, I want no, me no, a no. fucking designer but dog. What's crazy in LA? Like the flex is having the weird looking dog now. A Prada puppy. Like, having they, like an ugly dog. Yeah, like you see so many three legged dogs or the wonky eyed dogs. It's like. Because they want to be able to be like, I saved yeah. it. Get yeah. the fuck out of here. Man. Yeah. No, I like a new dog. Like, I like a new one that's like a I want to design breed. a dog, yo. Yeah, I want to design it. I want a Prada puppy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I am 100% supportive that's of that. That's what I would do. If I had one of them little stupid looking dogs like Taylor, yeah. I'd get the Prada logo. And then brand it. Br no, I'd... I'd Posted, I'd stick it on him. Ooh. Something permanent. It hurt a little bit. Peter would be mad at me. Ooh. But imagine you have, the, you have the Prada logo Prada on the side of the dog. Fire, bro. Okay, you know you could just get a leash and just put the Prada. Nah, that's nah, corny. That nah, ain't the same, nah. yo. No. I ain't a dog. That's, that, that's your dog wearing product. First of all, my I dog also dog. is the... My, my dog is the number one. Your dog just one. nutted all my over dog, the carpet. Shut up. My dog is the number your dog one. Your dog needs some pussy. Your I dog know. do need some he pussy. He does need some that pussy. That motherfucker, yeah, we should have took a picture of that. Taylor's no. dog <laughs> nutted all no, over the carpet. Repulsive. Yo, Repulsive. I'm yeah. not talking about, you saw it. It wasn't like, it, that shit was like a gallon of dog cum. It was foam. Yeah. And guess yeah. what Taylor did? I hate you. Slurped it. I hate you. <laughs> yeah, with her like, bare hand, yo. Like I with said, her bare God hand. damn Taylor Disgusting. from Philly. Disgusting. Jesus Christ. That's the only time we've ever thought you are from Philly. And she didn't wash her hands. 
Ugh. I know. You Aww. did not wash your hands. You didn't wash your hands. Don't you lie? God is you watching. You didn't wash your hands. Did. You're a liar. I had to wash it. I had to wa- go back you're with soap to wash that off too. You're whoa, whoa, whoa. a liar. Whoa, you just said a different you're thing. A liar. You said you went back with soap <laughs> to wash it. You never you, said you, you actually wash your hands, did you? You did not wash your hands after you picked up that canine cum. Well, if you ask Tammy, she's more disgusted because I I saw when he was about to throw up one time and I just caught it. Oh, <laughs> oh come on, yo. Oh. Just have kids. Yo. The <laughs> fuck is wrong thing, with you? He's my child, though, so it wasn't a lie, but like... I got four and I ain't never catching they throw. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> what <Why>? the hell? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ. Now that's crazy man. right there, Taylor. You're a wild girl. What else we got, man? So that's disgusting. What else we got? <laughs> Did you see? Uh, oh, what? Travis Rudolph found not Let's guilty. Go. Travis Rudolph found not guilty. We broke that case down for y'all a few weeks ago on Brilliant Idiots. We told y'all he was absolutely innocent. It was self defense. He stood his ground. And now I hope that that young lady gets buku charges thrown at her. She already yep. she does have charges, right? Life. She, not, she gotta do life. She gotta do. Word up. She gotta do life. Whatever she's responsible was give, for Travis, that life. Give to her. Word exactly. Up. Absolutely. She gotta get life. Travis Rudolph found not guilty. Somebody is dead. Was charged with one count of first degree murder and three counts of attempted first degree murder in connection with the fatal shooting outside his uh, home. Um, what was the actual story? I forgot. Remember the. She lied. She said, yo, he's hitting me to That's her right. brothers. And then they That's went right. there. And she said, yo, go shoot his shit up. And then yes. one of them, and it's tragic that one of them died. It's very tragic. Especially off a of false priest incident. That's right. right. That's horrible. That's and right. she should go to jail for the rest of her life. For he, that. He's found not guilty. I wonder, The sad part is, didn't his career get cut short and everything? I thought this was after. I didn't know. I didn't it know if he's still. But he's only 27. He's young. Yeah, I but I don't think he was playing. He wasn't in the yeah. league. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. Well, salute to that young man, man. Um, what, what else we got, Taylor? I mean, did you watch the Spider Verse movie yet? I haven't seen. Yo, it yet, we got to talk about one thing about Mermaid. What? This, oh, you saw was, it? Nah, but this was funny, man. Like you were like, yo, this, this is so woke, blah blah blah, and uh, like they got a different race daughter, like, and you were like, what the hell is going on here? Every daughter's a different race. It turns out that. Each of the daughters represent one of the seas. One of the seven seas. Yeah. Still don't make no fucking sense. So do they have one mom? Huh? Do they have one mom? Or did he was did he have seven different moms? Maybe it's seven different moms. They don't explain none of that shit. <laughs> All they say is that he got seven daughters that represent seven different seas, and yeah. the mom is dead. Yeah. That shit is... But isn't that how fish procreate? Don't they just shoot their sperm into the ocean, I think? And then the eggs. Well, could they shoot it on land? Nah, but I, no, oh, but yeah, I'm saying right. they're like, not actually fucking. Yeah, they're not fucking. Really? So, oh, oh good point. So it makes sense. Yeah. So Never we just don't that. know enough about fish. Our mermaids. Yo, shout out to mermaids, bro. I didn't know that. For real, fish just shoot things. So damn, we could be in the water getting fish sperm and all. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like we we eat There's we eat fish eggs because they the eggs are out there too. I mean, eating fish eggs is eating fish cum, right? This is them fucking. Nah, they not fucking. Get out of here. You sure they not fucking? No. Nah. What did you Google? (laughs) Taylor Googled fish sex. (laughs) (laughs) How fish have sex. I did not know this. I mean, if you ask Jamaicans, it's through the butt. Yeah, but they didn't Okay, what else we got? What else we got, Taylor gang? What's up with this weather, yo? Yeah. Can we talk about right now in New York, it's like overcast as hell. There's all this smoke. I guess there's wildfires in Canada, and all that smoke is coming down to New York. I don't know if we're in the last days or this is just how our shit is for our era, bro. Because there's some crazy shit fucking happening. What is going on right now? I don't fucking... I'm walking around with a mask like it's COVID on. Yeah. They're saying that the air quality is bad. They're saying that if you got respiratory problems like lung disease... Stay inside. Heart disease, stay inside. They say if you're out for more than 24 hours, it's like smoking six-pack of cigarettes. Chris Moreau thinks he's going to die. Chris Moreau is going through it, bro. He he came through the elevator. He was just... "Ah." (laughs) (laughs) It's crazy out there. My lines acting up. I did see somebody on the corner today. I was like, boy, this is New York City. That motherfucker was giving a Broadway performance, bro. Yeah, I'm like, right? what do you expect people to do, yo? Nobody knows what's going on. We're yeah. not paying you no attention. He was on the corner going crazy Puffing with the puffing. coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. he was losing it on the corner in New Everybody York, yo. Everybody wants some sympathy, man. I, I started to rock. I, if, if the air wasn't so bad, I'd have rolled the window down and said, knock it the fuck off, yo. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I really don't know what's going on in the sky, yo. 
I mean, yeah. Can this happen from a wildfire that far away? Yeah. That's crazy. Word? That shit I think was happening. You miss. remember, I think it was last year or two years ago in Cali? Like, they had all those wildfires in, like, northern Man, Cali. I have been in Cali a bunch down. of times when they had wildfires, and I didn't see this shit. Yeah, this is different, bro. And for it to be so far? I think it's a Terrigen Mist. If you, oh, if, you know, if you know the comic books, Terrigen Mist is uh, this mist that makes people inhuman. Inhuman is another form of, like, it's not mutant, but it's, it's called the inhumans. And the Terrigen Mist is what makes them. I actually used... Uh, the Terrigen Mist When I wrote for Marvel When I wrote uh, one of my comics For Marvel I used the Terrigen Mist To give me um, Superpowers And I said I said uh, the, It was a, The whole comic <laughs> The comic was about Me coming out <laughs> Come on bro <laughs> As a superhero You know what I'm saying that's You know that's what I mean that's Cause that's I had got the Terrigen Mist But I didn't tell nobody <laughs> You know what I mean well, What was your superhero Charlie you trying to tell us something bro Come on son You gay son <laughs> no, just, he just, just, he just tried to say it bro what, Look what you made Go back on that Look at Come on Holy shit Mateo kissing Mateo <laughs> <crazy. laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. How you got a picture of Mateo kissing Mateo? Shout out to Mateo yo. Lane. Mateo Lane got a new special out. On YouTube, on YouTube right? Yes. Yeah. Make sure you go check that right now. I missed Mateo. He was in our Hair building. plugs and heartbreak. Oh, come on, Mateo. What? It's supposed to be anal plugs and heartbreak, <laughs> bro. Hair plugs, bro. Mateo, come on, but he man. Got the, he got the hair plugs, man. He does? He just got them, yeah. Mateo's always had a nice little nah, but now it's on swath a different level. of hair. Now it's on a different level. Really? It's amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I like Mate- Mateo's my guy, man. Yeah, he's great. He, he's so you funny. can tell he's working out crazy. He, he was on Elvis Duran show. I missed him. He was in the building. I didn't get to see him. Ah. Uh, yeah, I didn't get to see him. What else we got, Taylor? Oh, man. God damn. Oh, yeah. Alex. Yeah. Alex. Crazy segue. Yeah. Yeah. Son, yeah. Alex said he, Crazy segue. Alex said he got a... Crazy segue. <laughs> I'm just saying. Crazy bro. segue. I'm just saying, son. Some people just so start Alex trends, Alex thinks bro. he's the originator, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah. No. He said, he goes... He Some said people this. just start trends, bro. So Drake got the yellow nail polish, and Alex goes, I got to stop it now. Yeah. Chubby is Wow, Taylor. What? What you mean? What do you mean? Taylor, stop doing that to people. I don't Taylor, like, doing you the people what you don't for like. No, to you. <laughs> you are really like, asking doing, for right doing now. the people what you don't you like done really to you. Ask, isn't that See? crazy? See what I'm saying? Isn't that crazy? See what I'm saying? But th- that's not right, wow. Taylor. All right. You know what I'm saying? That's not right. I'm not, I'm not calling Drake yeah. fat. You hear that? You go, the, uh, the, I'm not calling Drake fat. You said his hands are... Little, yeah, look at his hands. They look like little girls. That's not what you said. You look like little chump... You have chubby nails. Stop doing that, Taylor. But I'm okay. not chubby, though. <laughs> <laughs> Say something. Say something. No, I won't Whoa. back down. <laughs> no, I won't back down. <laughs> so I gotta stand my ground. No, I. Yeah, nope. I'm really having an alliance right here. Nope. You see that? But like, yeah. he won't say anything bad nah, about Taylor. Like, it's, it's like she's making it so hard for him to not do it. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? I just take his whack. But we make promises. Don't fucking tempt me. Yeah. Why do you keep doing you this? Are tempting. You know what I'm saying? You are He's throwing up alleys. You are tempting. <laughs> You're acting crazy right now. You know what I'm saying? She's acting crazy. I know. You know she wants it. No, I don't. She wants it. No, I don't. Yes, you Can do. Can we talk about the you nails? You keep though? asking for it. Can we talk about the nails? I'm just saying, it seems like you keep Can asking for it. Can we talk about Alex's twin right now? Okay. Yeah. Alex. You know. Now, this is what y'all doing all summer for real, though? This, this is bad bitches. We've been on that. Wait, wait, hold on. You call Alex a bad bitch? What he color wants you to be got a bad yours bitch. now? I'll take that. I'll take that. What color you got yours? No, I got a little. Tribal design. Here's the thing. It's a tribal design. If guys want to paint their nails, fine. I just need to know why. Yeah, why? Why do you why? Just why? Son, it's the same reason why you wear what you wear. It's like, no, it's just it's self. Not. No, no, it's not. Nah. It's a different no. form of self expression. This guy, he doesn't have pants so that go saying? all good, the way down. Okay, okay, why point. you gotta attack me, bro? No, we good, just and we should about not you because no, I know you know what he's doing. Because he just brought up a good point. He said it's a form of expression. Okay. So what are you saying? Nothing. I just like it. No. Don't you do stuff that you just like? But you said it's a form of expression. Yeah, I like the same way. Like I'm rocking this jacket. Like this is what just goes with the flow. That's, that's all I was saying. What are you saying? What, yeah, what are you what, expressing? What are you saying with this sweatsuit? I'm what? gay. <laughs> all right. 
Well, Alex, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Alex, I have a I question like for you. <laughs> Alex, if you was to break your nail. Son, son, son. Come on, bro. Look at him. Look at him. Look how adorable he is. Come on, man. Come on. You look, look like dollar sign. Say what? Wouldn't you like to roll me? I look like a little dollar bill on a. You'd like to roll me up and stick you, stick you, stick me in your nose, wouldn't you, Alex? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You'd like to do a line with me, wouldn't you, Alex? Huh? <laughs> you'd like to take those little pretty nails of yours that are painted, roll me up, like, and just do a line with me, wouldn't you? You gotta keep shooting, man. Bro, let me tell you something. He turned into the Riddler this all of a sudden. It's crazy. It's a, no, no, it's he's the Riddler. It's crazy. It is crazy, but it looks good oh. on you. Yeah. It's the color. It's the money green. Uh huh. But I'm wearing this. I can tell you why I'm wearing this. I'm wearing this because it's Nipsey's the marathon. Oh, Nipsey. Line. Oh, is that the marathon? Yeah, it's the marathon. That's why I wore oh. Nipsey's chain today. These Nipsey shoes and everything. I felt like representing for Nipsey today. That's oh. Nipsey. Yeah. I so, always thought that was uh, Farrakhan. No. Don't you have another one like that? <laughs> yeah, I have, oh, okay. I have uh, Elijah Muhammad, Malcolm X, Nipsey. Why don't you have any white guys? <laughs> Why don't you have any white guys on your neck? Mm, I don't know. Why don't you let some white guys on your neck? Ew. <laughs> 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 come on, dude. Hey, come on, man. 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 Happen, bro. Come on. Yo, would you cross that street? Charlotte, would you cross that street? Yeah, I'd walk backwards. Yo. <laughs> He's a this guy. I'd cross it backwards. This guy. God this damn. This guy is a confirmed homosexual. <laughs> this guy's a confirmed homosexual, dude. dude it's now, Pride Month. We bro, representing now. Nah, we gay. For okay. Pride Month, we're gay. That's right. Okay. <laughs> for Pride Month, we gay. No, if we are gay for Pride Month. You're not gay for Pride Month. You're gay on not Pride Month. That's weird. Yes, I don't you know the funny part about this Drake right. picture? What is it? The fact that he got his nails painted, but he got on... State property. State fucking property. <laughs> you represent for one of the hardest <laughs> rap groups out of one of the hardest cities with yellow nails. I, I mean, I was just, the thing I really Call don't like about range. this... Call that range right there. <laughs> you don't think his color's a little off, Alex? Like the yellow on a yeah, beige I person? I choose yellow. I mean, what color I don't know, would you choose to like really <laughs> son, accentuate that? Fit? What you do it, son? You the expert at this, son. I'm not the expert. I do what I like. Alex, Alex. you the expert, yo, <laughs> son. You, what would you like on him? What color do you think would look <laughs> yeah, best on him? You over it's yo, self-expression, bro. Like, Come yo, on, Alex. Son. What color nail should I put on to go with this state property? That's it. Fit. I mean, if we're being honest, I would match with you know the. Darker brown. That's what you I know, said. Do a you little song. Brown Did I say nails? that? <laughs> Didn't I say that? Hold on, hold on. Y'all are dumb. Why? <laughs> How you gonna know if you got doodle on your ass when you're wiping if you got brown on your nails? Nah, you represent what for Pride fuck? Month, man. Yeah. What if you want to finger your man real quick? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> now people don't know this. <laughs> Son, son, you even making a white boy uncomfortable. Son, 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 that's crazy. Son, son, son. That, right that was, was crazy. crazy son. Son. That right there was crazy. Like you just kind of ringing the bell. Like yo, is Jonathan home? <laughs> Alex, yo, is Jonathan up there? Word up. How do you choose your designs? Uh, I let my. I let my. I just want to know because how I choose my designs. Nah, I let my nail tech design. Yo, come on, yeah. come on, yo. I do. Come but on. what made you just? I just no. Stop like, trying to be serious. I'm not, no, no, I am trying to be serious though. Next I just week, nah, she's trying to get some her shots off. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm just wondering. I'm, 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 sure like, like, I'm, I'm really being serious. I just wonder why you're doing it. Because to me, it's. I, don't I told understand. you already. I'm you doing seem it because so I like it. Yeah, I know. I you do feel threatened a little bit because dudes? I feel like I don't like you being judgmental. Too. Yeah, you being yeah. too judgmental. Yeah. judgmental. Yeah. You call Drake fat. Now I you call now you bad. calling yeah. Alex gay, and now I don't like she ain't call, she I ain't call me gay. He's a bad bitch. That's what he is. That's crazy. That's what she called it. You just you and your soft girl era, aren't you? I am in my soft girl. Okay, you in what? You're in your what? I'm in my soft girl era. What is that? That means that I'm, you know, staying away from all negativity. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no stress. You know what I mean? I'm staying away from all that. Why do you have to be a girl through that? Black boy joy. So I'll try and get our shit. Relax. Why can't I be a I'm 50% girl. <laughs> That's a good ass point. That's a good ass point. I'm 50% woman, yo. Yo, that's a good ass point. <laughs> Bro, did you see what Justin Bieber's dad posted? Hello. That shit was one of the funniest things I ever seen. What he did? For I no reason. Said, for no reason. Why did you choose violence in the middle of Pride Month, Justin for Bieber? Pride Month, he said, uh, he goes, gay people, don't forget, uh, don't, don't forget to thank a straight person for making you. For making you. you. Oh. 
Wow. That shit's kind of a bar, though. Like, why? Nah, stop it. Why you look like a Past That Hill song, though? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> don't just to be with dad. He went from don't, one daddy to one daddy. Don't just to be with dad look like a Past That Hill song, yo? So go back to that shit right now. Yes. Justin Bieber's dad. He does look like a Jared. Pastor Hill song. Do they have a relationship? I don't know. No, no. He, oh, he apologized? So wait, tell me about this Hill song shit, the uh, documentary. I only saw the first two episodes. And you thought it was amazing? I thought it was very interesting. I thought it was very interesting because I think that a lot of times people get so fanatical about religion and they get so fanatical about their religious leaders that they forget that these people are human. And what's so interesting to me about the church, so many people go to the church looking for grace. So many people go to the church looking for forgiveness. But when their spiritual leaders need that same grace and forgiveness, these people are so hurt by the fact that that person isn't the perfect human you thought they were. So you get upset at them and want to shun them forever, which is not Christ-like in any way, shape, or form. That is true. Which is not God-like in any way, shape, or form. And so I just find it interesting how people just put these people on these pedestals. And I don't know whose fault that is. I don't know if it's the pastor's fault or the congregation, you know? And that's why I like this new era of pastors. I love the Sarah Jakes Roberts. I love the Torrey Roberts. I love the Devon Franklins because they're not acting perfect. They're letting you know I have flaws and I've made mistakes. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to figure it out. I think Sarah J. Roberts is the most brilliant pastor out here because the way she's able to blend, you know, uh, the intersectionalities of faith and God and mental health, like she's bringing all of this to the table because we all need work. Like we all got healing that we need to do. And just because a person can preach a good word and the person might, that that's the, to me it's like this, that's the same person, person that motivated you. Mm. Like for all you people that's upset about Carl Lentz and you know, mad about you know, w w cheating on his wife or whatever, that's still the person that motivated you. That's still the person that poured into you and gave you a word that changed your life. That shouldn't change anything about you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And it really shouldn't change your feelings about him. He's just a man. He's just a man who right now needs the grace that you wanted, that you wanted from God when you was going through your shit. And if you were to make the argument for the other side, for the people that are upset with them, mm -hmm. what would you say? What would your argument there be? I understand being let down. But still understand that Carl is a man. So, so forgive him and forgive these religious leaders, leaders that have failed us while at the same time be disappointed by them because that's okay. Be yeah. let down by them, that's okay. Maybe don't look at them as this image of God and maybe lower your standards for them. I, that's how I look at it. Gotcha. This, this, I never look at a, I, I don't believe, what's that word they use? Deity? I hold I hold deity? religious. What does deity mean? A deity God. means like a, a God. I don't like people looking at their pastors and their spiritual leaders as deity. I hold them to a higher standard, though. Yeah. I hold pastors to a higher standard. I hold rabbis to a higher standard. I hold imams to a higher standard. And I think that they've chosen to hold themselves to a higher standard when they uh, decide to take on that position. That's not to say that they're not going to fail make mistakes or make mistakes. Of course not. But I don't think it's wrong for us to hold them to a higher position or hold them to a higher faith or hold them I to. More yeah, piousness. Like, and this is maybe a bad example, but say if you have a personal trainer and you hired that guy because you like his physique and you're like, oh, I want a body like yours. And then he's like, this is what you have to do to have a body like mine. And then you find out he's on a bunch of steroids and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that taint all of the advice that no, he gave you? I tell you why, because that I think trainer, that's I think that's a good that's argument. A, that's a good debate. That that's a good, a good argument, argument. But that trainer straight up lie. That's great. That trainer straight up lying to you. Whereas, I don't think the pastor's lying to you. The pastor's, just, the pastor's just telling you some shit that... No, this is interesting. The, the pastor's just telling you some shit that he feels yeah. like you should know to better yourself. And he's probably trying his hardest to live by that shit too. The trainer's just straight up it's, lying. The only difference I would say, I, I love the actual, the argument. The only difference I would say is that there aren't steroids that get you closer to heaven. Faith and the work is what gets you closer to heaven. Word. But with weightlifting, there are these steroids that get you closer to Your that goal. physique, yeah, which is yeah. heaven. So that's why there is a um, gotcha. disingenuous, disingenuousness there, 100%. But um, 
There what? isn't a cheat code to heaven. But, but check this out. What if- You know what I mean? So the things that he's saying you should do will ideally get you there. If he's not doing them, then he's not getting there. But, but the word doesn't come from him. The word comes from God. So he's just going, yo, this is what God says to do. Yeah, but, but then what you that question that word because it's like if the trainer said, oh, hey, yeah. this is what I did to get this body. This is what he did to get the body. All the same workouts is yeah. what would get so you that's there. What, that, that's what yeah. I think that's but what we're saying. But now you're like, it's like, do I believe it? What if the trainer's on- Oh, you have every right to question it. But what if the trainer's on steroids? Yeah. But- He's still giving you workouts that get you in shape. That's what I'm saying. But you can still have doubt about where you're gonna go. Yeah. But what if you got diesel? Also, also. What if also, you got diesel no, no. based off his this, workouts? How about this? How about this? It's not about doubt where you're gonna go when it comes to faith. It's you have doubt about how effective the faith is. Yes. I think that's what it is. Is it starts to chip away at the foundation and the effectiveness of faith in and of itself. If religious figures can't even follow the word of God and they're the ones that are supposed to be the most pious, then you're like, oh, is this shit not even worth it? Yes. But they all, they tell us we all fall short. Uh, uh, they tell us the flesh that's, is weak. That's our expectations of religious leaders, and maybe we need to bring those down. Maybe we need to reduce those. They're just men working. Exactly. So, so I mean, listen, even if he's when, even if he's abusing his power, manipulating people. What do we say? That's up to God, right? Like that's a, that's for God to figure no. out. If, if no, if, if he's not, you have to protect your parishioners. Is that the uh, you have sure. to you have to protect your flock? If, if he's doing things that is uh, that he's hurting his congregation, Con your congregation. If he's hurting right. his congregation, of course, yo, you gotta go. Yeah. All I'm simply saying is that shouldn't be enough for me to lose my faith or feel like the man who taught me all of these things. Like these things still aren't valuable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you feel however you want about the man, but the yeah. things that man taught you, yeah. you can't deny that that shit changed your life. And that's why I do think the trainer analogy is a great analogy because even if I'm on steroids, if I gave you actual exercises that benefited you and you got diesel and you got in shape, I did my job. Yeah. Regardless of what I was doing, if it helped I did you, my job. If it helped you, yeah, I, I see that argument too. I see the disappointment in the people that have followed him and they feel let down. And I also see the disappointment in the institution and the church, which hasn't afforded him the same forgiveness that you know they've afforded many people. There's probably people that walked in that church that were like, yo, I used to hurt people. I used to steal from people. I used to do all these things. And that church forgave them for you those things. You're begging for forgiveness. Right? I, and I, I, I think it's the institution's fault because the institution of the church they worried about the bottom line. That, that, yeah. And yeah. it's like, if you were worried about the bottom line, God's going to take care of you. If you really got faith in God, God's going to take care of yeah. you. But if you're worried about this pastor and how it affects your image, this is assuming he didn't do anything criminal. If he did criminal things. Yeah, I didn't see the last two parts, y'all. Exactly. Saw the first so two we parts. don't know what you else. You know what I mean? Said. What I saw was, yeah. you know, uh, him, you know, cheating on his wife. Yeah. That's what I saw. You know, yeah, and, which is a crime in God's eyes. In God's eyes, you know, yeah. and I think he, I, 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 I don't remember what exactly happened with, you know, the mistress, but yeah, I just, I just find it weird when people, a spiritual leader falls short, and now you question your faith. Your faith has nothing to do with that. Yeah. Mm. Your faith has nothing to do with a spiritual leader falling short. Everything the spiritual leader told you about God in the Bible still holds up. It still rings true. Yep. You know, you just, he fell short. And that's what they say. Oh, you're not practicing what you're preaching. Sure. But that don't mean that you, you don't have to. You can still practice what you've been taught. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's all. That's it. You want to pay some bills? Let's do it. What we got? Guys, this episode has been brought to you by the one, the only, the bluest of chewest, the blue chew. Same active ingredients is inside Viagra, Cialis, but this is the chewedest one that we rock with, the one that we stay rock with, okay? This is the greatest sex you're gonna have in your life. Ladies, the best dick you've ever gotten is blue chew, breaking you down, sticking you up, okay? Obviously with love and affection and passion, okay? Blue chew is gonna come to you for free, okay, fellas? For free, all you gotta do is pay $5 shipping. When you go to bluechew.com, you use the promo code IDIOTS. Simple as that, bluechew.com, promo code IDIOTS. Go get your first month free. All you gotta do is pay the $5 shipping. Now let's get back to the show. We got some church announcements, Schultze. Yo, I mean, the, the church announcement is, I guess, keep an eye to see if we're gonna add another show, mm. you know? 
but thank you so much, all the uh, idiots out there. Thank you so much, asshole army, everybody who gobbled up them tickets on the presale. That's incredible. So, uh, but it's possible that we we might add another show. So if we do get on that, you know, go check out my Instagram, Twitter, that kind of stuff, and we'll give uh, updates on that. But again, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Cannot wait. Uh, my church announcement, man. Um, salute to my guy, Doug Melville. Uh, Doug Melville is going to be one of the next releases on Black Privilege Publishing. That's my book imprint through Simon & Schuster. He's dropping um, his book, Invisible Generals, on November 7th, okay? Uh, Invisible Generals is the amazing true story of America's first black generals, Benjamin O. Davis Sr. and Jr., a father and son who helped integrate the American military and create the famous Tuskegee Airmen, you know what I mean? Like, I really, really, really want y'all to uh, go check this book out, man. It takes a trip through three centuries, a journey from post-Civil War America to modern-day Europe. Doug uncovers the lives of these two, you know, great men who I just mentioned, Benjamin O. Davis Sr. and Jr., and they sacrificed so much for the country they believed in. Regardless of all the hardships, you know, they they, they endured, man. So uh, salute to my man, Doug Melville, and make sure y'all go pre-order Invisible Generals right now on Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, wherever you buy books. It will be out November 7th. We got two releases coming out uh, on Black Privilege Publishing this year. One's actually coming out before November 7th, and I cannot wait to announce that one as well. But uh, salute to my guy, um, Doug Melville. What the fuck did Zion Williamson do? Why are people texting me talking about Zion Williamson and John Morant? Let think, South Carolina down. I think he got wifed up. What you mean? Oh, yeah. He's having a baby. What's wrong with that? By a stripper. Who? Having a baby by a stripper? Who, who, got, that, who already got another baby? Allegedly. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think she's a porn star. Oh, bro. Really? Look that up, Taylor. Let no. me see what the hell going on with my guy Snacks. My star is upset because I was a side bitch. And then... Um, oh, no. He got... It. But I think the girl was, was a stripper, though. Hmm. Says Zion Williamson announced life changing personal nudes on Tuesday. Oh, he's expecting a baby girl with his partner Akima. What's wrong with that? Yeah, but the girls, the porn star is calling her out. He what? Hold on, I'm gonna pull it up. I mean, he likes. Uh, I don't see what's going on. A girl who's talented. <laughs> you know. I don't see what's going on. My man, I asked my man what's going on. He just sent me a link to some. Some shit that says guns and buns, a South Carolina addiction story. <laughs> <laughs> that is I like funny snacks ass. I like I like scraps and snacks better. <laughs> what do you think's happening with John Moran? You think the uh you think the uh, suspension is gonna be 30 games? Oh yeah, you guys broke the news about the toy gun, right? Didn't break That's, no news. That was Claudia not- Jordan. <laughs> I don't believe oh. that shit. I believe that story is cap like a cap gun that he Wait, was really that was Jess. He said it. Huh? You really? You believe that story? I don't know. I could believe them saying it. If that's the best they can come up with, they just everybody just needs to shut the fuck up really? on that on 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 that side. Like I love, I love, I'm gonna always root for John Morant. I hope John Morant gets out of this situation. I hope that he grows up and realizes the position that he's in. But ain't nobody buying that that's a toy gun, yo. Yeah. Come on. Cause if it was a no, put it like this, nothing about your behavior suggests said it was a toy gun. And we can insert the Claudia clip, uh Claudia Jordan clip here when she was on Breakfast Club, but all right, y'all, I got some uh, inside source stuff here with uh, John Morant and the mm-hmm. uh, whole case with his gun and the car and all that. So we all know he was already issued a warning, he had a history of this, but my sources say that the relative in the car in the backseat had a toy gun in the car. The gun is not real and was playing around with it, passed it over to Ja, and that got caught on the line. He had it in his hand. Now, the video was sent to uh, Adam Silva, NBA, allegedly. They have it, and they said the gun looks extremely extremely fake, like it's obviously a toy gun. But uh, according to my source, allegedly, uh, Adam Silva is still gonna go through with the suspension, looking like it should be about 30 games, even though they know it is a toy gun. I know they, I mean, it has an image and it's a private company, they can do what they want, mm-hmm. but I just want it to be known that it was not a Yo, a it, real gun. And how do y'all feel about that? I love, uh, I love John Moran, I love his team. They all from South Carolina, so you know, I'm gonna always support them. But that's the best excuse y'all can come up with. If it was a toy gun, why not say that from the start? Why issue an apology I agree. for a toy gun? You, you issued an apology, Ja. 
<laughs> well, don't most I, I thought most of those toy guns, especially when they look like that, the replicas usually have an orange tip on on a majority of them. Right? I have no idea, but you issued an apology. If it was a toy gun, that's something you would have said immediately. Mm -hmm. If it was a toy gun, why did your man put the camera phone down? When you started waving it, why did he move the camera? Like, come on, y'all. Y'all got to come up with a better excuse. I said to myself, that. why would that he not be screaming that from the rooftops? Come on, man. And they were like, well, come you on, know, man. the NBA has a copy of the video come and on. they have proof that it's fake. Come on, black so, man. Black, we, we, come on, y'all. You got to do better than that. Now, you got to come up with But what if it was a toy gun? That is. <laughs> it's impossible. Like, nothing about their behavior says it was a toy gun. From the fact that when his man realized he put the gun up he tried to move the camera phone from the fact that job issued an apology after that like this come on y'all but even even if it come is on. a toy gun it's a private company and they can decide what they want to do based off we the know it's not ethics a toy and moral, gun. right it's still a bad look come on stop it is still a bad like when you know you have that in your history and they're looking at you for that why would you like no one can be around me with toy anything that i'm already you know yeah, in trouble for absolutely mm -hmm. you you're gonna would you apologize for having a toy gun no would your man pull the phone away and pull down the phone if he was just waving a toy gun? No. Wouldn't you, if it was a toy gun, be funny in the moment and say, come on, guys, there's a cat when you squirt water at the cameras, yeah. something? Yeah. Come on, man. No, yeah. nobody believed that. Like, that that can't be the, you know, story y'all running with. Somebody said that uh, the NBA has more information that hasn't come to light just yet, and they're making their decision based on that. John Morant, they're going to... They're going to make an example out of They're going to make an example. The, the fact that they're waiting until after the NBA Finals Ooh, is over. That means they big. don't want no distractions. It's big. That's right. They don't want no nothing to distract from the it, Finals. Because if it was no suspension, it wouldn't distract the Finals. No. If, if it was 10 games, 15 games, if it was 30 games, it'd be like, all right, we get it. It's going to be big, bro. No, it's going to be big. Oh, wow. Big, big. What do you, uh, what's your guess? Probably a season. Shit. Probably a season, no pay. Wow. I think I think 30. You think 30? Yeah. I think they'd announce 30, bro. You think? I think they would announce 30. I don't think they're trying to distract from the finals, but still, I think 30 is legit. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is, I mean, just such a dumb way to lose all your money. Not all of it, but a lot of it. Emotional, um, uh, he, don't, he lacks emotional intelligence. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, but listen, when you give, if, if you give somebody straight from the, 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 the backwoods of South Carolina. $200 million. Come on, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and there, there's no, there's no class for that. Yeah. There's no, there's no course for that. They don't though, teach you how to handle two hundred million dollars. <laughs> but, but like I said before on the pod, the the only reason I give pushback on Ja when we say stuff like that because there's too many examples in the NBA of how to do it right. Mm. There's only been, I think, five hundred NBA players in the course of history. Like I, I saw, I saw somebody say that stat the other day. It's only been like five hundred plus. I'm talking about in the course of the end, the whole NBA. In 75 years. Look that stat up. It's only been no. like 500. No, there's there's more. I don't know. So think about it. It's only 12 on a team. Yeah, there's 28 teams. There's 30 teams. So, like, just do the math. I was told it was only 500. I could be wrong. Or maybe, so, five, or maybe it's 500 now. Yeah. I think it's 500 It's 500 time. now? I think. But it hasn't been a lot of NBA players in the history of life is what I'm saying. It's not yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, that's Like, it's a very, very small yeah. few. 43. 4,300. 5,000. 4,300. Yeah, so yeah. maybe you heard 5,000. Oh, maybe it was 5,000. Yeah. Okay. But I bet so 4,300 yeah. in that. Think about that, though. Think about how small of a oh, pool that is in 75 yeah. years. It's amazing. So you have more than enough examples, especially in this modern era of how to do it right. Yeah. Kevin Garnett from South Carolina, he came straight out of high school. Jermaine O'Neal from South Carolina, he came straight out of high school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kobe Bryant, God bless the day, he came straight out of high school. LeBron James came straight out of high school. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, all of them had, you know, little issues here and there, but not, nothing like Think this is yeah, it's crazy. This is insane. Yeah, it's crazy. That's all. Oh, I gotta see this. This is by, by the way, this is the worst title for a Michael J. Fox movie I ever. I can't believe <laughs> that is the title. What's the title? Still. That's a like, Still. why are why are they doing that? That's yeah. why. That's funny. Like, you know what I'm that's saying? Good. Why are they doing that's so like Taylor over there? That's about. like that's what that's what Taylor does. Yeah. That's what Taylor does. Yeah. That's what Taylor does. Yep. Yeah. What do I do? That's what you do. That's what it is what, what you do. You say little shit. Knowing it's gonna set off jokes, and then we don't say any jokes. And we don't say we no jokes. You and care about That's you. That's right. And then That's you say right. really mean things because right. you're a fucking dickhead asshole. Oh shit! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck? What else we got, Taylor? <laughs> See, she likes the aggression. But. <laughs> yeah, she, she, curse words are fine. Yeah, curse words are fine. Can't be like right, if you go, if you, personal things. If you go to Philly, even though she's from Lower Derby, yeah. if you go to Philly, you, you you understand Philly people. Yeah, like they like. 
abuse. <laughs> 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 they are they are an aggressive people yeah. that like abuse. They like dishing it. <laughs> and they do. like taking it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're like Black Panther when he had that suit on that could take whatever he would get hit, he'd absorb it and give yes. it back. Yes. That's fucking Philly, yo. Yes. That is Philly. Yes. What else we got, Taylor? What happened with Boosie? God blessed. I mean, nothing really. He was on the show. Oh. Yeah, Boosie came on. He was on Breakfast Club last week. Mad about his son getting a haircut. (laughs) Boosie is Boosie, man. He's so entertaining. He's entertaining. He's highly, he's highly entertaining. He knows it. Carnell West announces he's running for president. What do you think? Oh yeah, I wanted to get your take. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, Cornell West is somebody who I've always appreciated. You know, um, I love hearing him, whether regardless of what form or platform he's on, he's always very objective. Cornell West has criticized Barack Obama just as much as he's criticized the Donald Trump. Like he cares about people. And when he says he's running for both truth and justice, I believe that. I truly, truly, wholeheartedly believe him. What do you say to the people that are saying this almost guarantees the Republican, whoever's running, they win? Yeah, that, that, they need a stronger candidate then. Because he's running independently, you're saying? He's running yeah. independently. I don't think he'll be able to raise enough money to be a factor. He probably won't. You know, I think he's a big enough figure in himself. That he'll take away votes from yeah. the Democrats. Listen, and the races are so close where it's like, once I, again. I, I don't think he's big enough. I, 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 maybe I'm wrong, but like, I don't think. But these these these, these, these elections are so narrow. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, totally. These, like so if he so, gets thirty thousand votes, yeah, then it shows, yeah, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, these are the same people who's worried about Kanye, legit worried about Kanye. Yeah, like legitimately. <laughs> like, mm. like I'm not telling you something I heard. I'm telling you something I know. Mm. I did hear it, but I got heard it because they told me. Like they were like legitimately worried about Kanye. So. Yeah, I, I can see I can see Cornell West being a formidable one, but it's not just Cornell West out there. You got Cornell running as an independent. You got Marianne Williamson running as a Democrat. You got Bobby Kennedy Jr. And Biden isn't a super strong. He hasn't proven himself to be a super strong president, even with a lot of the stuff that he's gotten done. People don't fuck with Joe you know, Biden. Like what do that. you think? What do you think happens? Like, who do we vote for? But I mean, like anybody running Democratic, you know, the DNC is going to be like, shut if down. Biden wants to run again, they're going to shut, shut it down. I don't think it so matters. So it's really the only people who can affect it is somebody running as an independent. If any of those people get on the ballot, which they will, the Marianne Williamson of the world, Bobby Kennedy Jr., they're going to take Bobby away Yo, Bobby Kennedy votes. Jr. is kind of a wild boy, huh? I don't know nothing about him. He's kind of a wild boy. Well, you know, sir, I haven't heard anything about him. Yeah, I think he's like, I think he's a wild boy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> he's like COVID is a hoax He said that? I think he's that kind of wild boy oh, Allegedly Allegedly <laughs> Yeah Yeah I'm not mad I'm not mad at Cornell West running I actually think I, I think it's cool And I think that You know Even though he's not running As a Democrat I think the DNC Should have a primary Because we need to see If President Biden's Ideologies hold up now but why would the Democrats allow the democratic process to happen within their party? Because people are going to. F- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, not you're, thinking, right. you're not thinking straight. You're right. You're right. You're why right. would they let the people you're decide right. who the president was going to be? Right. Democrats would never you're do right. that. You're <laughs> right. But people, people, here's the thing: if whether you y'all do the primary or not. You know, sorry, people- it's so funny that like Democrats make this big deal about uh, when Republicans do the gerrymandering, mm-hmm. and it's like super delegates is gerrymandering. Only you don't need to move the districts around because you have a super delegate that counts for a thousand votes or yeah, ten thousand votes. Or whatever. It's the same thing. So they do all these things where they're like pointing. The Republicans almost the Republicans obviously are gerrymandering to do, which is wrong as well. They're both wrong. But the idea that they would point fingers and be like, you see what they're doing? They're creating an unfair advantage and stripping your democratic uh, process Mm -hmm. while they're doing the exact same thing. The both, yeah. The worst thing ever that happened in America to politics is the internet came out and we could read free information that showed how bogus both sides are. And I think most Americans are just going, Ugh, they both stink. Yep. That's exactly what they it is. They both just that's, that's stink. really the biggest thing. Everybody's tired of the two-party system. They're yeah. over it. They're I think like, we're tired of the establishment. We're tired of the establishment. But that's why that's why Trump yeah. was so effective, right? Yeah, and Bernie. He, he looked like in Bernie, they, they yeah. were they came in anti-establishment. That's one of the things I do regret though. What is that? Not supporting Bernie. 
Mm. Like not actually. Even like, if you did, he didn't want it enough. He wasn't really. No, to, he wanted it. The DNC didn't want it. But I'm saying he, he wasn't willing to call out the DNC. He wasn't willing to call out Hillary. He fell in line. He got his three houses in Maine and he was like, you know what? Communism sucks. I like capitalism. He didn't want to get. You don't think he want to get popped? You think that's what it was? <laughs> he don't do that no more. The Clintons don't do that <laughs> anymore. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. That's too they much of a spotlight. Yeah. They just pull up old tweets. That's because nobody touched them. That's facts. <laughs> that's they so, might have some shit on him. That's what. So many other ways to take you out now, like, bro. That's what Patrick Bet David was saying. He, he, we had him on flagrant. He was like, "Yeah, they must have something on Bernie." I go, "What do you mean?" He goes, "The fact that he didn't put up a fight at all. <laughs> He's ninety-seven years old." I mean, he's he was a, 92 when he ran. He like talking how, that shit, though. How much of a fight can he put up? I mean, we got to fight. And when Bernie started talking shit, he looks like Doc Brown trying to tell Marty why he can't get back to the future. <laughs> 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 like, what the? You don't take him serious when yeah. he starts popping that shit. Yeah. Let's do Ask an Idiot's Mine. What we got, Mine. What do you think of the super teams in the WNBA? The New York Liberty and the Las Vegas Aces. Aces look good. Asian them going definitely. Uh, uh, who cares? Repeat Next, this shit. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> super Love the WNBA. Question. The super teams in the WNBA. They are super teams in oh the WNBA. God, Candace bro. Park and Asian Wilson on the Aces. I'm whoa, telling you, whoa. you gonna be on the WNBA's clip whoa. in about three years, yo. <laughs> you watch when Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. And all of them go to the WNBA. You gonna be following? We gonna be following that storyline like Magic and Bird. Can't Joe. I just be an old head and have my dumb old person views? No, because you like the Let WNBA. Let me be an old head nope. with my dumb old you person. You like? Views. You liked? You liked the NCAA finals? You're a line if you That's say you true. did. That's not true. I didn't watch it. Really? No. You don't know what you was missing, bro. I know. Yo, you are committed to your misogyny, yo. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know they identify as women, Charlemagne? Oh. The corner. The <laughs> so scroll up. This is I the can't girl. be a misogynist the if you're not a miss. Charlotte, did you see the show The Idol? Nah, I ain't watched oh. that. Well, well, well. You got to see it. Charlotte, it's, it's great like it's that. A, it's Welcome good. to the Milk Factory. What, a lot of titties? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? There's, a, there's a set what? of nipples in that that I think are prosthetics. What do you mean? I think they put on prosthetic nipples on her tits. It's all about tits? No, nah, not all about... Yeah, yeah. No, but partially it's yeah. about tits, and the nipples are really pointy and perfect, and I think that they're made out of prosthetics. Really? I do think they look, took little banana bottoms, and then they stuck them on. Who said he thought The weekends? No. <laughs> but the weekend... The weekend... I'm not going to watch it, so y'all can tell me. Bro, the Why weekend... Not? I'm just not interested. That might He might be one of the best actors ever. Really? To be able to stay focused with them fucking... <laughs> With them <laughs> fucking milk jugs right in front of you and keep your, you know, shit together. Bro, I'm telling you, it's a different situation, Charlotte. Man, you never seen milk like this. <laughs> but you watch Euphoria. It's the Love same, Euphoria. It's the same maker of Euphoria. Really? Yes. yes. Sam Levinson, genius, milk connoisseur. I like Sam Levinson. <laughs> milk connoisseur, and there's more milk coming on. Apparently, there's uh, there's a new milk queen that's coming on to the- uh, And it's HBO, right? It's yeah. HBO, yeah. Is it a series or just a series? Yep. Really? Yeah. Hmm. You haven't heard about this? No, I heard about it. I just didn't give a fuck. This, you should check it out. It's you good. need to start giving a fuck about tits, you fucking gay no, dick. He no. does. He watched <laughs> WNBA. He watched WNBA. You might be gay, bro. You watch Sorry, WNBA. Man. And you don't care about titties. I got four daughters. Come on, bro. <laughs> come on with that, bro. <laughs> you know? Come on. You got to come back to the titties, bro. Nah, you used bro. to love titties, bro. Remember back nah, in the day? I've never been, I've never been come there. Come on, son. Back never, in the day, bro. I've never been a Is that a man. white guy thing, though? I feel like I hear more white guys talking about titties. What? Liking super fat tits? <laughs> But I'm saying, <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> I hear more white guys talk about titties. <laughs> Sorry, you gotta try to be a white for a second. Try to do what I just did. Nobody so does that. By the way, nobody so does that. Yes, they do. Nobody, do, like, nobody actually does that to what? breast, bro. You never I, seen a fat pair of titties and just went. Nobody does that. <laughs> That's some movie shit. That's Come Porky's. I'm sure, I'm sure he did that. Come Nobody on. actually does Come that on, to so press, You see bro. a fat pair of tits, you go, put them on me. You never done that, Charlie? He's so crazy. Charlie. 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 Your Come wife on. is watching this. Say what? Say what? <laughs> she, Why are you bringing that up? So she, 
<laughs> she knows God. his heart. She knows yeah, his heart. I'm a yeah. fucking crazy. <laughs> Yo, the heavies, bro. I'm about the heavies, You know man. the white boy thing? What do you mean? What? Tits? Yeah, I feel like... No, you everybody hear more... likes tits, Taylor. No. <laughs> you, black guys no, like tits. Asian guys like they tits, They do, too. but I never hear black guys talk about tits as much as white guys talk about tits. Why do you think that is? Because we got the asses. Y'all don't. I don't you, care are about you that thinking either. that white girls... You, you just said that white girls have better tits than black girls have. I didn't Ooh. say that. You just said that. I didn't, I didn't say, that. say that. I said we have the asses. Y'all don't have asses. I like pretty faces. But by process of elimination, you're trying to say that white girls got prettier titties. We, no, no. I, I'm just saying you're saying I I'm think you should take that, that back. At all. I think you should take that back. Because I think that there are black women with absolutely beautiful there are. crazy shit. Yes. Said, why would you say that? I don't understand don't why do you that, say that. I never said that. I never said that. I never you, said you, you that. There's so many sisters with beautiful titties. black women come on the podcast and shit on all black women. I never said that. You kind of said that. I did You said black guys don't care about. About titties. White women. Care about titties too. I didn't say. I'm saying I hear more white men talk about it. That's it. Huh? Anyway. <laughs> All I know when I see titties, my face, I get, I get a screw face when I see titties. <laughs> <laughs> when I see a big fat fur, it just happens. I can't even <laughs> speak when Charlotte, I see titties. Charlotte, Charlotte, huh? what, what do you think about this set right here to your, to your left? This is set ridiculous. Oh, that's what Daisy we, Taylor. What do you? What, what do you think? I'm gonna practice bad habits. Man. I'm a married man. All right. Yeah, this is wow. Right. Fair enough. <laughs> Go back to that topic about Clarissa Shields. Wait, what happened with Clarissa? Shout out to her. Oh, I gotta go, my guys. Yeah. Okay, come on, give us give us one more. What we got? Let's end on one. We got what we got. You don't want to do that one. Or? Charlotte and yeah, Charlotte and Drew. Let's go. Let's, let's go to something motivational. <laughs> let's see. See, look at that. OVO third says, who is the biggest SC dum-dum between Zion and Ja? I have faith that Snacks and Scraps going to get it together, okay? Leave my guys alone. I have faith in both of them, all right? And I still don't even know what the fuck uh, Zion actually did. Okay, this is a good We can end on this one. Would you rather live in the bottom of the ocean... What the fuck is going on, man? So, <laughs> so, just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. it. <laughs> Yo, just enjoy enjoy us and what we're capable of. <laughs> Come on, son. Enjoy, in the enjoy bottom of the greatness. ocean or in outer space. Which one? Honestly, I'd probably rather live in um, the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. All right. Well, because at least I'd I'd be, you know, <laughs> they both kind of suck. Yeah, how do you know? How do you know that? You never been to either. The bottom of the ocean is just dark and cold. Who told you that? I mean, they go down Man, there. These, you know, they have not even fucking just. They have not even navigated seventy five percent of the ocean, yo. So you think? The ocean changes the further down you go. I don't know go. what's down there. Atlantis might be down that motherfucker. Damn, I don't, yeah. I don't want to make this. I don't want to make this argument for Charlemagne, but if you're getting close to the Earth's core, there's going to be heat in the Earth's core. So Bush. it's possible if you get to the bottom, bottom, that the water is actually starting to heat up. And think about like it's possible. And think about how mm -hmm. much highly unlikely. But we don't know what's going on in space. We don't, but I, I I think the ocean might be the ocean might be kind of fire. Cause think about all of the, the species and creatures that we see every now and then pop up. I don't want to do that. Space. Come out the ocean because what if you jerk off in space and it doesn't go anywhere? It's just floating around the fucking <laughs> space station and then randomly you make a up. fucking mess, right? Yeah. God damn, you can't even hide your fucking. You can't even sperm. hide your nut. You got to chase around the space station. What are you doing? Oh, getting in my. Only thing. one way to clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> Son, this guy is. Son. <laughs> <laughs> so this is crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> Charlo, give them back their sport, bro. <laughs> give it back to them. Son. Son. <laughs> give, give them back their sport, bro. So, white boy fun. Son. Let them have it. The best. There is no Why color. Why white boy fun? There is no and color, bro. <laughs> there is no color. Gay is for everyone. It's freeing. Exactly. This is Pride Month. As always, if you listen to this podcast. And you you're gay? <laughs> if you listen to this podcast and you're gay, that's what's up. <laughs> if you listen to this podcast and you're not gay, you need to get the fucking enter the poopo. <laughs> If you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you think we're just a couple of gay idiots who don't really like dick, you're right too. <laughs> it's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Hey! <laughs>